Hello everyone, I'm in my uni house in Loughborough right now, sorry I can't be there in person so I'll say my goodbyes here instead. Peter and St Paul has been such a big part of my life and I remember first going to visit and not being able to see over the car park fence. When thinking about our time in the vicarage a few things come to mind. The many many holiday card barbecues hosted in our garden with Tucker and Kilty trying to steal everyone's food. The endless queues of kids trying to get onto the trampoline. The leaders' children's party on the Wednesday afternoon with the water slide out no matter what the weather. Um, I've been through many leaving speeches over the years, from Gary and Sharon to Simon and Anna Cooper, but I never thought the Browns would have to make them because, for me, Tunbridge is our home. And so I'd like to mention a few families that helped make Tunbridge our home over the past 12 years. The Blakeleys, you've been such a big part since we moved to Tunbridge. I couldn't imagine it without you guys down the street and bumping into you at the park for walks. Um, you're all pros at moving, so hopefully you can come around and help us pack up sometime. <laughs> Rosie, Amy and Tom, thanks for all the pancake days and the snow days over the years. I really will miss you guys. Uh, the Ruxtons, I've learned so much from Hilary and Peter, not only from our trips to Condoa, but how to make the best stained glass windows out there. Um, thank you for everything, but most importantly, thank you for the trampoline, because I don't know what we'd do without it. <laughs> um, the Robertses, Yolanda, I've got so much respect for you for putting up with my dad's mess in the office. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> um, I really don't know how you did that. Sarah Thompson, thank you for all the board games we played over at your house and for hosting the best Sunday roast in Tunbridge. Um, and just a general thank you to the passers-by who um, caught many of our runaway dogs through the graveyard. <laughs> um, thank you for everything. I really will miss Tunbridge. Um, here's a quick message from the rest of the Browns, uh, Amy and Timothy who are in London and Stuart and Christopher who will still be living in Kent. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi Tunbridge and thank you for over a decade now of some really happy memories. Bye bye Tunbridge. Thank you very much for having us, we appreciate all the support and I'm sure we'll see, still see you around Tunbridge because we both stay in the area. Yeah, agreed. Unfortunately Bentley isn't staying and that's who we're going to miss the most. <laughs> well, we managed to get the children to say something. Uh, I'm sure the parents will be uh, amazed at how we've managed to do that. But thank you so much for having us. I've always said Tunbridge is a wonderful community to live in and there's none better than the great parish of Tunbridge to feel supported and loved and you've certainly done that uh, so much. We really are very grateful. It's been a really amazing time um, from the minute we worked in and we met the people we met like the, um, David and Rosemary Hayes, Jenny and Peter, uh, Judy and Richard and Sarah and there were, there were a few others as well. We just knew that this was the place to be. It was really great. Ali's actually got a photographic memory for numbers and she's better, better than I am at names. But may the name of the Lord uh, go with you and we'll uh, have you always in our hearts in Sheffield. Won't be on for the rest of the night 